Welcome to another one of my videos on Dragon Legends. Today, we're going to be learning about the Cockatrice. So what is a Cockatrice? According to Britannica, a Cockatrice is a mythological creature. Its alternate titles is the Basilisk. Cockatrice, also called a Basilisk, is the legends of Hellenistic and Roman times. A small serpent, possibly the Egyptian cobra, known as a Basilicus, meaning kinglet, and credited the powers of destroying all animal and vegetable life by its mere look or breath. Only the weasel, which secreted a venom deadly to the cockatrice, was safe from its powers. By the beginning of the 17th century, more marvels had been added to the legend. The snake was said to be generated from an egg laid by a cock or a chicken and hatched by a serpent. In addition to the weasel, another enemy was the rooster. If the Basculus heard a rooster crow, it would shortly die. Thus, travelers and regions allegedly infested by the Basculus took roosters with them. According to Mythus fandom, the cockatrice can cause death with a single glance. Reports indicate that anything catching sight of the lethal bird's eyes is turned instantly to stone. Just as deadly is their poisonous saliva which can fell even an elephant. Also known as a basilisk, a cockatrice has the head and feet of a cockerel or a rooster and the tail of a serpent or snake. The cockatrice is believed to be the product of a seven-year-old rooster's or chicken's egg laid during a full moon and then hatched for nine years by a serpent or a toad. There are a few ways to protect yourself from a cockatrice. One is to carry something reflective, like a mirror, and turn the creature's gaze back on it. Another is to keep either a weasel or a rooster nearby. The weasel is said to be the mortal enemy of the cockatrice, while the crowing of the cockatiel or rooster is even more effective as it causes the cockatrice to have fatal fits and ultimately thrash itself to death. Now, a cockatrice and a basculus are probably not the same thing. Some believe that the difference between a cockatrice and a basculus is the same difference between a tigon or a liger. It depends on which animal is the mother. Other thinks the difference is that the basilisk is purely a reptile, while the cockatrice is more like a giant scaly chicken and is probably warm-blooded. According to R.K. Bentley, blogspot.com Many believe that legendary animals 
might have been born out of encounters with real animals. Many creation apologists have long speculated that dragon legends were depictions of human encounters with dinosaurs. In the movie Jurassic Park, Velociraptors were very dinosaur looking. But since then, a few new fossil finds and marked artistic license have made more recent renderings much more birdlike. If a Renaissance era person were to describe a modern depiction of a velociraptor, he might say it looks like a cross between a bird and a reptile. Are there any bird reptile creatures of myth? The cockatrice is a legendary creature, essentially a two-legged dragon with a rooster's head. If the modern renderings of a velociraptor are accurate, one would say it very much looks like a cockatrice. So perhaps the velociraptor gave birth to the cockatrice legend. According to Britannica, a Velociraptor was a sickled clawed dinosaur that flourished in Central and Eastern Asia, possibly during the late Cretaceous period. It possessed an unusually large claw on each foot, as well as an ossified tendon reinforcements in the tail that enabled them to maintain balance while striking and slashing at prey with one foot upraised. The Velociraptor was small, reaching a length of only 1.8 meters or 6 feet, and perhaps weighed no more than 45 kilograms or 100 pounds. The Velociraptor appears to have been a swift, agile predator of small vertebrates. Bob Strauss said, Thanks to the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies, the Velociraptor is one of the world's most well-known dinosaurs. However, there's a huge difference between the Hollywood version and the Velociraptor and the less imposing one familiar to paleontologists. Scientists believe Velociraptors sported feathers due to having quill knobs, just like today's birds, on their bones where feathers would have attached. Artists have depicted this dinosaur as possessing everything from pale, colorless, chicken-like turfs to green plumage worthy of a South American parrot. For a dinosaur that's often mentioned in the same breath as Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor was probably puny. This meat eater weighed only approximately 30 pounds soaking wet, about the same as a good sized human toddler and was just two feet tall and six feet long. There's no evidence that the Velociraptor hunted in packs, but then again, there's no particular reason not to think so. Although its sharp teeth and clutching hands were certainly unpleasant, the go-to weapons and 
Velociraptors arsenal were the single curved three inch long claws on each of its hind feet, which it used to slash, jab, and disemboweled prey. With Velociraptor's probable coat of feathers, lead scientists to conclude that this raptor and many other meat-eating dinosaurs, including Tyrannosaurus rex, may have been warm-blooded. So, what do you think? Was the Velociraptor and the Cockatrice one in the same creature? Could humans have seen this dinosaur walk on the earth many years ago? Hmm. And if so, could this creature still be around today, hiding 